Hey guys, I'm Matty Conrad I'm from Vancouver, BC, and I've been a barber for 25 years. In that time, I have seen everything. So I thought what I would do is start to share some of the best tips and tricks and advice that I have for you so that you can have success styling your own hair. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get a thicker, fuller look in fine hair using just products, a brush, and a blow dryer. Let's get started. This is Jason. He's got fine hair. It's not super thick. And when the hair is like this, it doesn't usually like to stand up and create volume. It just kind of likes to flop and sit there. So I'm gonna show you how I get more texture and volume in his hair with some techniques that you can use at home. First thing is, make sure the hair is wet. I don't like working with dry, cool hair because no matter what you do to it, it doesn't seem to get volume. I always like working from wet to dry when I'm working with fine hair. Once the hair is wet, you want to make sure that you have the right products. When it comes to picking products for fine hair, you want to make sure that you're working with something that is lightweight, oil-free, and not water-based. You really want to stay away from things that are sticky because the stickier, heavier products have a tendency to make the hair clump together and look even thinner than it actually is. So we're going to work with products today that are about building volume. For creating volume and texture, I suggest Primer from Victory Barber & Brand. Primer is one of my favorite products to use in men that have fine hair. It is a sea salt based texturizing spray that adds a lot of density and nutrients so it'll protect the hair and scalp from drying out. I'm going to spray that just in the area where I need it. Then I'm going to apply a small amount of super dry. I love using super dry before I blow dry. Largely because it gives me a little bit of control and because the blow dryer will help me remove the excess moisture from the product. And moisture is what you're trying to remove from the hair because moisture equals weight. So what you want when you're finished is a very dry finished style. Super dry is perfect for that because it's oil free and totally weightless, but still provides a lot of control in the hair, even when you blow dry it in. This is a good tip. Try applying your finishing products before you blow dry. Speaking of blow dryers, we're gonna turn our blow dryer on and we're gonna set the temperature and the speed to medium. When I first start to blow dry the hair, I wanna create volume just in the front. So I'm gonna lift the hair up slightly, pull it forward, and then just kinda of flop it back and forth. That's gonna let it get a bit of a volume base and we're gonna let the hair cool in a forward facing fashion. So I'm just gonna go back and forth slightly to create a little bit more texture in the front before I move on to the back and sides. To get the hair smooth, I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna use a wrap drying technique. Wrap drying is when we take the airflow and we push it along the side of the head using the brush just to line the hair up and not lift it away from the scalp. This is gonna give a really lean and smooth finish to the hair. In the back area, we're gonna push the hair back and forth across the crown. This is a great way to deal with any kind of jumpy areas. And remember, we're keeping the airflow tight against the scalp and not lifting the hair away. We don't want the hair to create volume here. We want this to look lean and smooth. This is a great way to get it. Once I've got the crown dry, I'm gonna to go to the other side and I'm gonna push all the hair back using the wrap dry technique to just smooth the hair out, lightly brushing just enough to get that hair to lay down perfectly smooth and straight. When you're doing this, make sure the airflow is going all the way around the head shape and not just pointing straight back. That's gonna allow you to get a little bit more bend and it's gonna prevent the hair from fanning out in the corners. Once the back and sides are done, we're gonna start building volume through the top. Now, that means I usually start around the highest point of the head, which is somewhere around the center at the top of your head. I'm just gonna create a little bit of volume in the back and create progressively more volume as I move forward. So to get just a little volume, I use my fingers up in this area just to lift the hair up slightly and pull it back away from the face. I always make sure the airflow is pointing straight back so the hair gets a nice bend. 
When we get closer to the front, I'm gonna use my brush to lift the hair up as much as possible away from the head shape. The more you lift the hair up, the more volume you're gonna create. Making sure that the airflow is just going over the ends of the hair and not pointing at the scalp, pushing the hair down. Again, you wanna preserve as much volume as possible here. I'm gonna keep working forward in small sections until I get to the front hairline. Then I'm gonna change the airflow to straight up instead of back. Straight up is gonna allow me to create as much volume as possible, and I'm gonna use my brush just to line the hair up, still kind of pushing it all into the center of the head. I really wanna make sure that we don't cave in the volume here, so I'm gonna be really delicate with my brush, and I'm just gonna use the airflow over the ends. You can already see how much more volume we're getting from this shape. Now is gonna be the most important part, the cold shot button. Setting the cold shot button on your blow dryer cools it down and allows you to cool the hair down with the airflow. This is a really important step. You wanna make sure you're cooling the hair down completely because if you leave it hot and it falls over, by the time it cools down, it's just gonna stay flat. So you wanna lock that shape in using the cold shot button. You'll notice I'm not really using a brush at first. I'm just using the airflow to push the hair where I want it to go, cooling the hair down. This is a really good way to get more of a natural finish on the hair. But you wanna make sure that you do this for about 60 seconds until the hair is thoroughly dry and cooled down before you move on. All right, looks like we built some volume. Let's finish it off. I'm also gonna use a little bit of Super Dry to finish the style. I really like the way it gives a matte finish and I like that it remains pliable in the hair, touchable. You can get your fingers through it so it looks really natural, but still controls the frizz and makes it look like your style's a little more intentional. I'm just gonna take a little product at this point and work it through the ends of the hair really lightly. I don't wanna coat the hair in too much. I don't wanna weigh it down. I'm just gonna try and keep things really nice and light and just get my hands through it to get rid of the fuzz and make it just a little more PC looking. And there it is. Thicker, fuller looking hair. Thanks a lot you guys for checking out my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that process. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And remember, you can check out the products that we use today at www.victorybarber.com. Make sure you click like and subscribe and follow along. We'll see you next time. Until then, good luck and good grooming.